Well, here's something I never thought I'd say. I'm sad that I'm not in Ohio muskie fishing right now. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian. You're watching Angling Anarchy. And if you've seen the past couple of videos, we've been in Ohio muskie fishing. And uh, Ohio has some fantastic, fantastic muskie fishing. Um, I don't know if we're going to go back there again this year, but it is, it's a lot of fun. Especially when you can't muskie fish in Wisconsin, which is where we are right now. So unfortunately we're not muskie fishing. Uh, I've got my buddy Trevor Allen in the back here. We are just out on a little local lake going after bass bass season is open right now so we uh it's, it's catch and release in wisconsin so we can target bass out here uh so yeah we're just gonna be throwing uh, some rattle baits uh i've got one of lee lures uh lee talkins death paws minnows i want to kind of play around with that check that out uh kind of a, a undersized musky bait but it'd make a perfect bass bait for this time of year so we'll toss that a little bit I do want to share with you though, our last day in Ohio, we didn't put any fish in the boat, but we had two really cool strikes. One is a spectacular boat side strike that uh, swung and missed on Nate's bait. So I will show you that after I shut up and stop talking. You can watch that and then after that we'll be fishing for bass here. There's a fish. Hit it on the paws, just like you should. Yeah, it's a decent largey. Likes the old death paws minnow. <laughs> All right. It's a little bit much for you, buddy, but hungry enough to go after it, I guess. Okay. So, there's first fish of the day. Nice little largey on the uh, on the death paws minnow. Thanks, Lee. All right, well, I was throwing that death paws minnow. I'm gonna switch over. Trevor's had pretty good luck with a rattle bait. This is a uh, Berkeley, what the hell they call this one? War pig. Uh, I'll toss that for a little bit, see what we can get. Oh, there's a fish. Yeah. He really didn't hit all that hard. He just kind of eased into it. There's coming up. <laughs> Pretty early. Something. Yeah. Give us a little show. There, come here. That's probably a little bit bigger. Come on, stop it. All right. Yeah, these are not huge fish, but it is just fun to get out, catch a couple. Thanks, bud. There's one. Feels pretty good. You gonna come up and jump too? Oh, there we go. That one's a little bit more better. Come here. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Uh. 
this has got hook in the hand written all over it. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, that one's a little bit better. I'm okay with that. You got one? Yep, I do. Doubled up? I like this sink a little bit more. I cast it yeah. deeper and let it sink before I reeled in. And this feels like a better one too. Does it really? Yeah. Maybe bigger ones are just sitting out a little bit deeper. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Kind of give this guy a little bit of fresh water. Here we go. Skinny. Yeah. Yours must be a female and mine a male. Yeah. Hey, maybe they're nice man. Uh, partners. <laughs> yeah. Should probably get them back in then, huh? Yeah. Cool. Well, that was pretty nice. Awesome. All right, so a little bit on what we're doing actually. We've got 54 degree water temps, so these fish are, are still pre spawn. It's the, the water's just starting to warm up here in southern Wisconsin. We are targeting some weed flats in like five to six feet of water. Um, Trevor was out here the other day and this, the fish have actually, you think they've moved out a little bit? Yeah, I think so. I so the few we've caught. Yep, so we think the fish have pushed out a little bit. We're just using rattle traps and, uh, and just looking for little uh, places where the weeds are emerging here. And yeah, we, we went from not catching much to I mean, we've got three, four fish in the past in the couple past minutes 10, and a couple of hits. So I think we finally put together a little bit of a pattern here. Funny. Well, yeah, does he, does he fish a lot of tournaments or anything still? Or? Yeah. Must not win them. Wow. Like, what does he do? For, does he have a job or anything? Or? Yeah, finally. Oh, there's one. There's one. Another, another, another decent one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Little spot locker here. There we go. Nice largey. Go back. Yeah. Sure. Hey, this is kind of fun. <laughs> For April. Yeah. There's no. Next cast, another good one. Oh, dude, look at that. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. You don't have a little net either. No, go ahead and grab the. All right, come here. He wasn't getting away. Look at that one. A belly on her. Yeah. Oh, she's bleeding a little out. bit. Yeah, it took it a little deep there. Yeah. We'll hunted it though, definitely. Oh man, so. it completely ate it. Yeah, she's bleeding a little bit. We'll get her back in. Here she goes. All right. Cool. We've actually put together a little bit of a. Uh, pattern here there's definitely fish in a certain area right here so we're just got the uh mint coat on spot lock and we're just casting see what happens here and i think we were there's fish Jeez, another good one. Oh man look at that they certainly are that's my third fish in four casts <laughs> got one hook in the mouth and one hook flipped around on him there. Let's see if he... 
I mean, they're not five pounders or anything, but holy cow, that's a lot of fun. Yeah, that is a good Wisconsin bucket mouth right there. Go away. All right. Thanks for the thrill. Did you really, dude? Dude, they are out there. They are out there, man. That was weird. I don't know what just happened. We are on the fish. They're, dude, <laughs> look at that, four and five casts, dude, that is four bass and five casts. This is starting to be sort of silly. <laughs> I, they're cookie cutter, but the, the size they're at, it's not a bad thing necessarily. <laughs> Oh, I'll fight these things all night long. All afternoon long, I should say. Gosh, just another beautiful fish. There's got to be just a school of them out there. Dude, another one. Yeah. It's, a, <laughs> it's another nice fish. <laughs> oh, dude, look at that one. Yeah, they're growing. That is a freaking dandy. Wow. This is the fifth fish on sixth cast, and the sixth cast I had a bump and just didn't get the fish. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, that one's pushing three. Dude. I'm just out of curiosity. Grab my little. He might be, yeah. Here, let's... Get a little bump board wet here, our judge. That is 18 and a half. That is a dandy Wisconsin largemouth. Yeah? Oh no. <laughs> Had to rub out my good luck off on you. <laughs> okay, there's still a couple out there. Oh, there you go. Right after I gave it a pop, dude. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Gonna grab the. I'll get on this side of you. All right. <laughs> it's the boat, don't run into the boat. All right. That is another, what do you think, 18 inch or so? Yeah, I'm going probably 18 inch. Yeah. Gosh. Another three pounder. Just amazing. We, yeah. we were dinking around with tiny little bass, but we were fishing up shallower and we went out a little bit deeper. And I mean, <laughs> it's, it's like my seventh nice bass in like 20 casts. Yeah. Pretty it's amazing. For this time of year, just yeah. Big ones staked out deeper. There we go. All right, <laughs> and Trevor just lost one. I've, I mean, in the span of the last 10 or 15 minutes, we've had contact with at least a dozen bass. It's uh, amazing. Yeah. 
About a five pounder. Oh, there's a fish. I'm gonna spot lock us here again. Yep, it's the same spot, man. Looks like another good one. Jeez, dude, <laughs> that's a nice one. That's a four pounder. Check out that pig. And it, dude, the bait's gone. I mean, it just completely. Look at that thing. That's four all day. I've got a scale if you want to. Win. Yeah, let's let's check that one out. Let's check that one out. So you're doing that, I will. It is just 19. Oh, I guess I need to get right there. Right there. What do we got? Four, four, no, four, five, eight. Four, five, four and a half pounder. Yeah, four, five, four, four, five, eight. That is a good fish. Let me get the big camera out. Yeah, there. yeah. Here, let me, she's bleeding just a touch. We'll get her in and we'll get a nice shot. That is the way to end it. <laughs> what a beautiful fish. Same spot. We, we checked some other uh, areas because it kind of slowed down. Came back and man, just a sow sitting in that same spot. Not even like uh, same spot as in flat. We're talking. Same Look at that belly on her. What a fish. <laughs> wow, dude. That was awesome. That's so cool. <laughs> yep. Yep. We'll try to catch another one, but if we don't, I'm we happy. Can't beat, that, can't beat that. Can't beat it. Gotcha. No, yeah, you're right. That was the same. That was that cast. Yeah. Fish. No, dude. <laughs> it doesn't feel no, no. It doesn't feel as big as, but, wow. This is crazy. This is the first time I've ever done a pre-spawn bass bite like this because we we never used to be able to. This is only the second year of Wisconsin having a catch and release bass season. And this is just <laughs> insane. Just insane. Oh, sorry, bud. Got your gill there, but all right. Whew. Wow. Yeah. We're a little bit this side of where we were spot locked before. There's a fish. Dude. Insane. Three casts, three fish. And just another freaking dandy, man. What is happening? <laughs> oh, this is what it feels like to know what you're doing. Come on. Boat had a hook in the hand there. <laughs> Just insane. <laughs> Look at the belly. Alright, Mama, go make some little bass babies in a week or two here. What a beast. That was cool. Oh, fish.
Yeah. Insane. Well, it ain't quite musky fishing, but it is better than not fishing at all. Thanks for the tussle, bub. For not being musky fishing, that was a heck of a lot of fun. Um, I can't remember the last time I got on the largemouth like that. Uh, really cool bite with that lipless crankbait. Um, yeah, this uh, catch and release season in Wisconsin is just a lifesaver uh, when you're waiting for the season to show up. Gets you out, gets you out chasing game fish. Uh, so had a lot of fun doing this. You will be watching this. I'm assuming the day of the Wisconsin opener. Uh, I unfortunately won't be out that day. I'm going to have to try to get out Sunday or one of the days after that, try to chase some muskies. Going to Iowa in May, so uh, as long as we catch some fish, we're going to have some musky fishing from Iowa videos coming up here. And that's it, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate every single one of you, and I will see you on the next video.